Yes, strings broken. Good morning guys. It is the last day of this heat and then it really drops tomorrow. We've got some thunderstorms forecast and we have a dust cloud over us today. It's not too bad of a one. It's quite a thin dust cloud. Johan's doing some more strimming. I think we're nearly there with the whole land being done. There's one section we really want to do but it's too thick with the string keeps breaking the string so we're going to try with the blade after the rain hopefully if the fire risk comes low enough and whilst he's strimming the nugget he's just gone to get some more string because it's broken i'm just clearing this vegetable garden getting all the peas up it's gonna be warm but it feels like <laughs> we're gonna get a break from it soon <laughs> Snake eagle. 
huge birds flying over. I don't think the camera's picking them up. There's four there. morning it rained last night I'm so happy it was pouring down at 3 a.m. and we had a bit of lightning and thunder so it feels really good here today it smells amazing and it's been almost a month since we last had rain so it's maybe one of the last ones before the summer you okay am I sat on your tail I have a poorly alby She's been to the vets yesterday, she has a wound on her leg where she's been bitten probably by another cat so I need to give her some medicine.
So we're just having a quick break to make some coffee and um, this morning we had a notification to say that we've had our latest coffee subscription from my mum or Sabian coincides nicely with this week's sponsor who we're very pleased to say is Aeropress. Aeropress make a, a coffee machine that we stocked in Sabian for years. We've probably sold 200 of them over the years I reckon. It's a truly unique design and it makes amazing coffee and now they've introduced this which is the Aeropress Go Plus travel system. So basically it comes all in one cup. Aeropress Go Plus is a complete travel coffee solution. A coffee brewing system that makes the world famous Aeropress brew using a customised tumbler you can drink from and store your coffee maker in when travelling. Aeropress combines the best qualities of a few different coffee brewing methods into one cup. It's a little bit like a French press, a bit like a pour over, and a bit like an espresso, all in one cup. Aeropress has almost no bitterness because the Aeropress uses air pressure to speed up the brew process and not over extract the coffee. I drink my coffee black anyway, but I genuinely believe that Aeropress coffee tastes better without milk. I would highly recommend trying out Aeropress. It takes away all the complication of trying to choose between all of the different brewing methods through its 3 in 1 brewing technology that features a combination of agitation, immersion and air pressure to produce a rich and delicious cup only possible with an Aeropress. And we've got a great offer for you guys on the Go Plus. Visit aeropress.com forward slash Frankie. Aeropress is spelt A-E-R-O-P-R-E-S-S dot com slash Frankie. And use the promo code Frankie to save 20% off your order. If you decide to treat yourself or a loved one to an Aeropress, we'd love to hear what you think. And a big thank you to Aeropress for sponsoring this video. Good. Cheers. So, this morning we are taking Kitten Pipoka to a new home. We, when we found her, we did say if we could find her a lovely new home, we would pass her on rather than keep her because we do already have enough cats, and I'd rather if a new home becomes available, it gives us an opportunity to rescue any of the cats that show up on our doorstep in the future by not being overwhelmed by having too many. Uh, and I can't think of somewhere I would rather she goes live than where we're taking her today. So we'll take you along there and we're also going to go collect our drinking water. It was kind of a hard decision because she's been here a couple of weeks now and she's settled in and especially our cat Samal, he really loves play, playing with her um, but I think it's the most sensible decision so we're trying to be more adult in our decision making um, and I'm sure you'll agree she's going to a great place when you see where she's going. So these are the secret new owners of Little Kitten. <laughs> been renamed Lily <laughs> after Lily Savage because <laughs> you're a savage little one aren't you <laughs> what do you think It was 
definitely a little bit tough <laughs> being in the pocket. I really miss her already. Um, it's a decision definitely made with the head rather than the heart. Do go. <laughs> Thank you for your kisses. But Anne just been sending me photos of her and she's settling in, she's been playing. Um, she's now sleeping in their kitchen, so I think she's going to be really happy there. But we've come back and our chicken Joelle, she's been broody for a few days and it's not great, especially when it's been hot. So we've managed to get her to drink a lot of water, which is a really good sign. Her comb is really pale. We shall see. Chuk, 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 chuk. Come on.
Hello everyone, how's it going? I think I should have my hat on, sorry. <laughs> it's not actually that hot today, it's about 24 degrees after the storm, so that's nice. We've got hopefully four or five days of freshness now. As you can see behind me, we've had a delivery of pallets that was supposed to come last week, but it's now arrived. So we're almost ready to get cracking on the, the new cabin. We do still need one more delivery of pallets. I think we're actually like six short. So we'll get some more of those ordered. And yeah, ready to get cracking. So the annoying thing is, is we need to move these now. Yep. This is a non-pallet. A non? Yeah, we don't want this one. So let's pile it up and there we go. Muito calor. It's uh, 
quarter past six and it's just cooled, enough, cooled down enough for us to get cracking. So what we're going to try and do is cut some pallets up. I've been shopping and got an extra long blade for our jigsaw that hopefully will be enough to get into where the nails are. So just to give you a little bit of an explainer, what we're doing here is building a cabin out of pallets. Now what the pallets will do is just basically form the framework. And the reason we're choosing pallets over standard wood that you'd buy from a timber yard is basically because they're so much cheaper. We're paying six euros per pallet here. So it's actually quite cheap compared to what we could get from, from a shop. So yep, we're using that. We'll be insulating both sides. We're not sure at the moment whether to use OSB board or like a render or plasterboard. We're not too sure. Quite dark and a little shadowy. Um, but yeah, so what we need to do is, whilst we're doing all these, we need to shorten two of the walls because otherwise they won't fit. So in order to do that, we need to cut some pallets. So that is the plan for this evening. So fingers crossed it works. Basically the idea is that if we cut here and here off and then move this block in the distance of the block then we will create a short enough pallet for the width of the pallet to then fit alongside it along the walls. If that doesn't make any sense you'll have to watch the next couple of videos because we'll be putting it into practice, hopefully. But yeah, they're all 14 centimetres each way. We have a plan. Oh, that's the plan. Can you grab that side and just take it back a step? Do you want some grab I don't know, do you think? Yeah. Well, the, all the stuff's in there. Yeah, just do not want wood in your eyes. It's metal. Or metal in there. You reckon? I think it would be wise. Okay. You are probably what wise and right. Mm. The idea with this as well, by being able to cut the nails rather than using a a crowbar or whatever, is that we'll be able to keep more pieces of the wood completely intact. So well, I say that, fingers crossed. Spec dolls. I should probably not be the camera. Safety first, everyone. Mm -hmm. Should we try it vertically? It might, might be easier to keep the blade straight. <laughs> so we can't get thicker, longer blades with a jigsaw. No. Do you know what? When I had to remove a nail, I used that handsaw and it actually worked really well. Let's see if that will work. Yeah, it surprised me when I needed to do it last time, how well it worked. Is 
whichever way. Pretty blunt blade. We're so not we've got doing a better one. We're not doing it. Four, eight pallets of this, are we? Well, I think we're going to have to invest in a new tool to do the next stage. So, next job, buy the right tool. <laughs>